We often report on the tremendous success you and I student athletes have on the field of competition and their physical ability. Student athletes at the University of Northern Iowa are also taking huge leaps forward by having the right mindset. Today we tell you about UNI football's Bronte Wells. This fifth year senior has displayed tremendous character since he stepped on campus. But as he embarks on this season of football, he's leading others to a better mindset beyond the football field. UNI defensive lineman Bronte Wells tore apart the opposition in 2019. He was third on the team with his six quarterback sacks and made big plays in big moments. Bronte even scored a touchdown, a 34-yard interception run-in for an early lead during a playoff game. It was the second score of his career as he recovered a fumble at South Dakota as a sophomore. That second touchdown, that was fun. You know, I got the run 34 yards to the end zone, pick six. Uh, it's fun, you know, over these years, it's just a, a lot of growth. You get to experience a lot, learn a lot, and then when you come out here, it's time to put it all together, be consistent, and just keep growing. His growth as a football player is evident, but Bronte's growth as a person is outshining what number 91 has done on the field. Definitely trying to be a positive guidance every day, uh, be a leader, uh, lead by example, not only words, that's important. Um, definitely being about something bigger than yourself. You know, obviously life, yeah, you'll have some moments where it is about you, but it's really important to make sure that you go outside the box and outside of yourself and be there for someone else. You know, he's been very diligent uh, in the classroom, you know, helping community. You know, he doesn't have that much time and he gives his time to help people. And, you know, what a great, role model for people you know we need more of that and that's why I, I love to see that so much especially in him he's done a great job bronte's character is a direct reflection of the character he saw from his mom tanya when he was a kid in des moines you know, i've seen my mom struggle and you know work very hard for me and my older brothers so you know when you see character like that it just kind of attaches to me and i just naturally try to do the right thing Bronte is making his impact as a family services major, through which he's been able to get involved with the juvenile justice system. He enjoys being a guiding presence for youth and families that don't have it as good as others. There's a lot of need help in that profession. Uh, and you know, me being a student athlete, it's great that I get to use my platform as a student athlete to take time out of my day and go be there for someone else, you know, be there for the kids, community, parents, you know, just being a positive guidance is the best thing you can do. Bronte's service work at UNI is being recognized. He was named semi-finalist for the William V. Campbell Trophy, a national honor that salutes academics, community service, and play on the field. If Bronte wins the award, it'd be like scoring a touchdown. But either way, you know that Bronte Wells will be doing all he can to improve his team and his community. You know, it's great to have somebody in our position like that. And, you know, I've, I always push those guys, come on, you need to lead. You need to be more vocal and get them out of their comfort zone because if they can do that now, eventually when football is over, they're going to be leaders and they're going to be able to step into a position that otherwise they might not have been able to. Uh, once again, just being able to try to help someone else. Uh, like I said, life is more than just about yourself. Anytime you can go out and be there for someone else, you know, you never know the wonders that it does. Bronte is also one of 11 current members of UNI's Minority Student Athlete Leadership Team, a team that organized a recent Unity Walk on campus. Still to come, we get reaction from that Unity Walk as hundreds came together. We tip the cap to longtime MVC Commissioner Doug Elgin entering his final season leading the conference. And we look at some UNI homecoming history, as this would have been UNI's homecoming weekend. <laughs> 